I'm ready. Me too. Here goes. Why do elephants never forget? Oh no, not another animal joke. Does it have anything to do with peanuts? Nope. Brains, they have big brains. That's not it. Give up? Okay, why do elephants never forget? They can't write, so they better not forget. <laughs> oh. That's about as funny as running out of sunflower seeds. <laughs> when you think about it, being able to write and draw is yeah. very special. Only people can put their thoughts and feelings down on paper. Our first drawings were kind of simple. Cavemen scratched them on rocks with sharp bones and tools. Some of the pictures told stories. The cavemen really liked animals. <laughs> they sure did. Cave drawings have many animals in them. As time went on, the pictures changed into words. Words were like codes that everyone understood. Writing tools became easier to handle, and people found new ways to use them. Anything important could now be written down. A goose! What does a goose have to do with writing? In the early days, sharpened goose feathers made excellent pens. The quills were dipped into ink or dye. One of these pens would last a long time. I'm sure the geese were happy about that. Which reminds me of a joke. Don't bother, we've heard it. Today, finding something to write or draw with is easy. In black and white or color, the choice is yours. You could use crayons, coloring markers, or charcoal. Charcoal's messy stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes, but it's great for sketching. Handle it carefully, and you can do very clear pictures with charcoal. <laughs> or smudgy ones. Does this remind you of anyone? That's me, isn't it? I recognize the ears. Your very own charcoal sketch. I can see the resemblance, all right. But you know, I think I'd even look better in color. All right, let's see what we can do. To add color to a sketch, you could use paints or crayons. A good crayon makes full, bright colors, and it lays the color down smoothly and evenly. Crayons begin as hot, liquid wax. This isn't ordinary wax. It's sticky, but not greasy. And this is where they keep the wax, in big tanks out behind the factory. The liquid wax is blended in the tanks at very high temperatures. Then, it's piped inside and dumped into the mixing kettles. This man makes thousands of crayons an hour. What's in the brown bag? Colored powder. The right amount of color has been measured for each batch of crayons. There's filler in the bags, too. Filler is a clay that thickens the wax. The hot wax is poured over the crayon molds. When all the little holes are full, the wax is cooled down. It hardens into a shape like this. If the crayons cool too fast, they'll crumble. Too slowly, and they'll be all soft and mushy. Holding racks are placed on top of the molds. Now watch. You see a hole, you get a crayon. That's neat. Hundreds of new crayons. This man has learned how to dump them. If he does it wrong, the crayons will be all over the floor. He weeds out the broken ones and checks that each crayon has a point. We've had crayons for about 80 years, and they're still made much the same way. Only now, they come in every color. He's taking a few more out. What happens to them? 
they'll be melted down and used again. Crayons of many different colors are recycled into black and brown. The colors are blended together. Once the crayons are made, each one is wrapped separately. This is a perfect job for a machine. One hundred million crayons are wrapped in a year. That's four for everyone in Canada. Crayons are piled into wooden boxes. Then they come here to the packaging department. One crayon of each color goes into a package. There they are, all in order. Final check and the crowns are ready to go to the store. Look, they seem to be making something else over here. These aren't crayons, but you write and draw with them. I wonder what they are. I know what they are, but I'm not telling. We'll guess then. Any ideas? I'll give you a hint. Those are nibs, the part you write with. And that ink going in. Did you guess? The crayon factory also makes coloring markers. Which reminds me of something. I wonder how my portrait's coming along. Markers like these make bright, strong colors, and they're ideal for drawing... My portrait. All right, now, here it is. Your picture in color. We used crayons, markers, and coloring pencils. It really shows off your little pink ears, don't you think? Yes. You see? I do look better in color. There are many ways to use charcoal, crayons, and colored pencils. We've shown you a few. Can you think of some others? How would you draw an airplane? With a pencil, a crayon, or a piece of charcoal? What about a bird? Or your best friend? Why not do some experimenting? <laughs> 